Hey guys, Cyrus here, and welcome to another tutorial on how to use AI. Today we're going to be talking about combat modes and formations. We're going to be doing it in the lovely Tanoa, because I like it better. Anyway, um, so, following on from our last episode where we talked about moving specific guys, uh, I did say that you should try to remain in formation as much as you can, but I didn't elaborate any further. So I'm going to go through how to set your squad's formation, also how to set their combat mode and what that does. So your default formation is this one here, it's called Wedge and basically it scales up to whatever size unit you have um, and it's, it's essentially it's a, it's a V shape that follows the leader. Uh, the big downside of this one, in my opinion, is that as soon as you enter a combat mode all you guys are going to start running off and doing their own thing because it's a loose formation. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about how you set your formation. So you can set it per unit, or you can just set it for everyone. For now I'm just going to set it for everyone. What you do is you select your units and then you press the 8 key to bring up the formations menu. Uh, and from here you can see that there are 9 formations. It's column, stagger, column, wedge, echelons, V, line, file and diamond. So. Um, given that we're in a pretty tight jungle area, it makes sense for us to be using either a column or a file, which is basically walking in a single line. So I'll show you the Form difference. Form file! So, because um, I've set um, them to form into file, they're going to form into a file behind me. Uh, basically they'll, they'll form the formation based on the direction you're facing when you press the button. So if I'm facing this way, then they'll face that way. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so, if we're walking along in file, um, I'll actually, for, for, for purposes, I will set them to safe for now, so they, they chillax and just walk. There we go. Alright, so, what I did there was I set their combat mode to be a little bit different. So to do that, same way as setting the formation, you select the units, you press 7, and then you've got stealth, combat, aware, safe, and then various things to do with which stance they're going to stand in. So stealth will actually make them move from cover to cover slowly and try not to be seen. It's actually quite effective, I've found. Um, combat will make them seek cover and basically move to positions where they can fire aggressively. Um, and except when they're not in a formation that will let them do that, which we'll get to now. So, walking along here in file, if I set them to combat, Danger. for now, I don't know, they will actually start running around. Yeah, so, they'll move to cover, but they'll try to stick fairly close to me on this file. So, instead of walking up this exposed path, they're walking through the undergrowth. And then if I set them to column, Form column. they'll actually start spreading out a bit more, in theory and we'll have a bit more spacing. That's basically what will happen there. Cool. Uh, and oh, if, you, if you just want to be generally moving around, what I recommend is Stay having them sharp. on aware. And what aware will do is they'll keep their weapons up, they'll move at running pace, but they'll not do uh, other things like walk around or just chillax and things like that. Um, I think Column also has a wider spacing just looking at it now as well. Anyway, we've made it to a road. So, things with roads, uh, a lot of people like to do this. I actually think it's a terrible idea, but I'm going to use it as an example for Staggered Column, which is basically two columns on either side of the road. Form Staggered Column! So I'll get my guys into staggered column, and they'll form up on either side of the road, in theory, as we start moving along. And obviously if I had more guys, this would trail back further. But the one that I like to use a lot is diamond. Form diamond! And the reason that I like to use this one is because it's a nice tight formation, which is especially good if you're in the jungles like this. But another thing that I really like about it is that if I set these guys to combat mode, Danger. they stay in the formation, but they act intelligently like you're in a combat situation. So 
if I start moving through here, you notice that they start ducking behind cover and things like that, but they stay fairly close to me. Hey guys, post-processing Reese here. I forgot something important. Uh, the diamond formation works really well with the team size I have here. It works well with four people, up to about six. Past that point, I find that it tends to get a little bit messy. Uh, eight people tends to spread people, uh, spread units out too much, and you end up with weird situations going on. Just a little extra note for diamond formation. I'll show you line formation now, just as a sort of counterpoint to this. So these guys are moving pr quite nicely with me. We're, we're going pretty well. They're ducking behind cover, things like that. If I set these guys to line mode, which is basically in line. line off uh, like a horizontal line to the axis that we're moving, then oh, they, they all ran off on me. Because they're all running to cover. And this is technically correct for oh, what hey. they should be doing. What they'll basically do is they'll cover each other, they'll move up, and they'll bound forwards. But a lot of people don't see this as bounding, okay, they see it as people go. just as, as the AI cover, not doing go. what they want. You can actually join in on this bounding too, they've actually intelligently coded it so Under that it will move. treat you as being part of the the bounding. I mean, whether you're actually covering them, that's another thing entirely. But yeah, you can, as you can see, moving up in an extended go. line it works, but it doesn't work the way people no, think. This is, this is often what people expect Stay extended sharp. line to look like. So if I set them back to normal mode, they should all form up into a line. Yep, there we go. So they're in just a, a horizontal line off of me, and they'll just run forwards. It's actually quite hard to see in this dense scrub. Uh, now I'm in an open space, so I can show you line. Form line! A bit better, which is... Basically, these outside guys will form in line with me, and we'll move forward together. And that's basically it. Um, formations, super simple. Uh, keep in mind, diamond is the probably my form favorite. Form diamond. One if you're trying to just run around in combat with your dudes. Um, outside of that, do what seems right at the time. I'm not here to tell you tactics. I'm here to tell you how to control AI. Uh, and that's about it. So yeah, seven to open up the combat awareness, eight to open up the formations. On your feet! That's pretty much it. Um, that is actually all of it. I, I, I should not try to drag this out any longer. Alright then, thanks guys, have fun.